talked a lot, obviously, yesterday about the lines. But what do you want to see from the power play today with new configuration personnel? What do you want to see them do with the power play? Well, first of all, I think just our breakouts and timing coming up ice to get a clean entry. And once we get in the zone, we've had really good possession time, but I think we've got to get more back to a shot mentality and just the volume of shots. Um, we know we're not going to score on every power play, but it does create momentum for us when we're in the zone and we're getting chances. Uh, those are the things that we're looking for to lift our bench. But obviously we need some production, uh, but just trying to find continuity within the groups. How much is the mental aspect of it? You know, man it down or for the club where you don't generate a lot of momentum and you try to overcome a, a bad power play? Well, those are things that you have to fight through and be mentally tough, you know. Uh, I think uh, look at our penalty kill, when we've done a really good job of disrupting the other team, it, it, it does provide some energy for us. And uh, we're, we're going to be faced with adverse situations, not only in this game, but uh, in games to come. So it's how we handle those things. Uh, um, if, if, if it's not working for one unit, get a fresh unit out there and uh, see what they can do. In the past, when you've had uh, Darlene and Ristolainen together, I mean, we've seen a little bit of how they work. What, what do they need to work on better now as a, as a group? I think just their puck movement. Uh, I think both of them exit the zone pretty well, uh, particularly Darlene. He's, he, he's confined uh, people through traffic and, uh, and just their puck movement. I, I think uh, we really have stressed the last uh, couple practices is, is just getting the puck back up ice. Instead of going D to D and back to the D, let's get it D to D, or if we can get it up right away, let's go D to D. That's when we're, we're, we're a fast team. And when we start bringing it back, there's the disconnect to uh, our defense to our forwards. So uh, that's one of the things that they, they can focus on and then, and then add to the rush from that point, make good decisions, come up ice when to jump in. Bill, so middle sets played all 51 for you. You know making that a, a jumping for a young player can be really hard. What have you seen that you liked and where is he at in your opinion? So far? I, I think he's been doing a really good job. Um, he, he really cares about his game. He cares about the, the team. He's a good teammate. Uh, the one thing that uh, in his development, uh, at, in the early goal of the season, it was tough to play that 200-foot game. I think he's he's starting to learn what that means, what you can and can't do. Uh, he's really worked on his defensive zone awareness and trying to make the right reads, help his defense out down low. Uh, and I think his game has really come, uh, especially before the break and, and even in these games after the break. Uh, I really like where his game's at. His development is in the right area. I'm sure if you asked him, he'd like to give more production and that'll come. How much of an opportunity is this for Liam Solmar potentially to get multiple games here if he can get you on a Well, there's no question in my mind that, uh, you know, Linus has played solid for us. Um, uh, he's given us an opportunity to win. To go back to looking at that game against Calgary, the saves he was making, and, uh, you know, it, that's, a, that's a, a great statement to make. You know, when we look and evaluate it on a game-to-game -game, uh, situation, Linus has played some good hockey and hopefully has a great game tonight, and we'll make that evaluation the next day. Casey Middlestead mentioned that he had a good chemistry with Pominville in the few games that he played last year. Did that go into your decision when you thought you wanted to change lines or maybe putting the two of them together? Yes. I mean, uh, you know, I, I really like the Rodriguez, Middlestep, Palmville line, and uh, we've, we've put people in different places. We've changed the lineup. But this is really an overhaul change, and we were looking at, uh, you know, maybe at the beginning of the season, some games last year uh, that the new players weren't here, and uh, so we took that all into effect and given guys opportunity that are they're playing good hockey right now, maybe to get some more minutes. So, uh, but you, in that statement, yes, uh, Casey had some good chemistry with uh, Jason last year. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.